The War on Bugs Everyone has seen a bug or insect one time or another. From bees buzzing around your backyard to flies landing on your food at dinner, bugs are everywhere. They come in all shapes and sizes, but what they have in common is their body structure. Each serves a very important purpose to our ecosystem. Flies lay their eggs in decomposing animals to help fertilize the earth. Bees pollinate many different flowers, helping them blossom. But not all bugs are created equal. Flies, mosquitoes, and ticks are known for spreading diseases all over the world, from the United States to China. While insects are important to a healthy world, they can harm people as much as they can help us. Flies, mosquitoes, and ticks, oh my! These bugs are very familiar to all of us as pesky little critters. Flies are found everywhere you look, from outside in the garbage to sitting on grandma's homemade apple pie. Mosquitoes and ticks come out during the warmer days. When you think of mosquitoes, you think of these red itchy bites on your legs, and flies these little black beads buzzing around your head, constantly swatting at them. But they do much more than that. They can pass on diseases. These insects, and many others all around the world, are referred to as vectors. Vectors are insects that are able to pass diseases from one person to another. Picture this. John, a man with Lyme disease, is walking through the woods, and a tick jumps on him and sucks his blood. This tick, like John, now has Lyme disease too. Nathan, an unaffected man walking through the same woods, is bitten by the same tick. Nathan, being bitten by the tick infected with Lyme disease, is now infected with the same disease. This is how vectors spread their diseases and cause so many problems. These bugs interact with many people with their short lifespan on Earth and are able to spread a lot of sicknesses to people. But how do they accomplish such a feat? They smell us. Vectors are sneaky little critters with a great sense of smell. While we have a nose, insects use an antennae. These antennae is a long, thin protrusion sticking out of their face. Vectors not only have a great sense of smell, but many different places to smell. Insects have evolved to be able to smell with their feet as well. When you see a fly land on your food, they are actually getting a quick sniff. To find us, these vectors use a few key scents. They can smell what we breathe out, which is called carbon dioxide. Also, these little critters can smell our sweat on our skin. Not all bugs are vectors, but watch out for those that are. Here are some common ones. Ticks. Ticks are little tiny spider-looking mites that are known for being in wooded areas and outside shaded areas. Ticks are located all around the nation, from California to Montana to New England. Ticks spread many different diseases, but are infamous for spreading Lyme disease. These insects have become a worldwide problem, spreading diseases all over the nation. Over the last 10 years, there's been a huge increase in reported cases of Lyme disease. 20,000 cases in 2004 increased to an incredible 60,000 cases in 2014. Mosquitoes. There are over 3,000 species of mosquitoes all around the world. These pests fly around with the long antennae that they use to smell and suck out blood from their victims. Mosquitoes are found in warm areas and in the summer months. These bugs spread nasty diseases like malaria and are a leading cause of disease all over the globe. Mosquitoes, believe it or not, are one of the most deadly creatures on planet Earth. It has killed an estimated 2.7 million people annually, many victims located in Africa. Flies. Ugh, flies. We all know flies. From house to fruit to horse, flies are everywhere. Flies are known for ruining people's food, but also spreading diseases. Flies spread diseases like sleeping sickness and are just an overall nuisance. Overall, insects pack a bigger punch than they let on. With the summer months arriving, we have to make sure that we are prepared for the increase in bugs, especially the vectors mentioned above. If you are to be bitten by one of these critters, don't panic. Make sure to tell an adult to have them remove the bug if it's still there, check out the wound, and travel to the doctor's office if necessary. Here in the U.S., we are blessed to have medicine that can fight the effects of malaria and Lyme disease. Our next stop, as a nation and as a society, is getting this access to everyone. Slowly but surely, we are on our way to winning the war on bugs.